What is going on everybody? Steven Deadling here from WC Studios 25 and today I wanted to talk about a little bit of a early character build for you guys because Fallout 4 comes out tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow and that is very grand. I won't get to play it because I didn't order it on Amazon Prime. Yep, I know, make fun of me. But I have studied this new character builder, not the one that I previously posted the video on, so I'll show you guys this one as well. Uh, we'll go to it right here. It is uh, nukahub.com slash tool slash special, and here you can pick your points, and it has all these perks, plus you can uh, go through the, the ranks of those perks. And now I've studied this and kind of come up with exactly what I want. This is my kind of general character build if you want to kind of try out a lot of the things in the game. I've seen a lot of people say they want to try out this here um, Aqua Boy with the five endurance, but we're not. I'm not going to put five endurance in because I don't. I don't really care about the swimming. <laughs> but uh, I, I care about crafting. I like to craft things and I like to hoard things and and like open locks and hack terminals and just kind of go everywhere and see things. And keep in mind, this is your initial build, and the game has no level cap, so you can eventually get all these perks filled, you'll eventually get all these perks, like I just said, <laughs> God. you'll eventually get all the special points, and you'll eventually get all the perks, ignore my stupidity, but, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put four into strength right away, and that gives us the big le the Iron Fist, Big Leagues, Armor, and Blacksmith, don't care about these two, uh, these are just kind of, you know, your punching and your uh, melee weapon damage. Now this lets you craft the the power armor, right? And this, uh, or I don't know if it's necessarily power armor, I'm assuming it is, but then this is, uh, well it says armor mod, so it could be clothing too. I don't I don't know, I, actually, I haven't read up on that part, but I don't know. If you guys know that that's clothing and power armor, please let me know. But this is to craft melee weapons, and I'm not a big melee weapon guy, but nonetheless, it's more crafting. So that's why I got these. More crafting is better for me. So... Four strength. Remember, this is just general experience the game build, all right? Now here we have the perception. I'm gonna go with four in that because we get riflemen, because I use rifles. Uh, awareness, so you can see enemy levels. That's, that's very, very good. And then you have locksmith to open, open, uh, open locks, and that's, that's something I like to do. So, perception four as well. Now for the uh, endurance, I go three because I want the life giver perk uh, to get more hit points. So yeah, there you get your extra hit points with that, and then you can get quite a bit extra. You, as you can see, you get forty or forty. You get sixty hit points. Uh, you can get sixty more in total with the life giver perk. So that's good to have. Now charisma, I'm gonna go up to six in. Uh, to get the Lone Wanderer, the attack dog. Lone Wanderer I'm, I, it was, is really interesting to me if I get rid of the dog, but if I keep the dog, of course I want attack dog. Animal friend, I get so annoyed when I gotta deal with animals. God, that shit is so annoying. It is so annoying. And uh, local leader, of course, because I plan on starting my own settlement at one point uh, with the charisma. These I'm not really interested in, but this way you can, you know, experience that settlement stuff with local leader. Now the uh, uh, intelligence, I'd like to go up to six as well because of course you get medic, which you can use stim packs, and then you, which will, I, I believe they do, yeah, they do more for your um, your health when you use one. That's good, you'll be using less stim packs, saving more money. Gun mods, gun nut, of course, gonna need that. Hacker, of course, gonna need that to open terminals. Scrapper, this is to get shit to make mods, and then Science, we of course get the high-tech mods, so we're definitely gonna want want that. I'm happy that they made a computer terminal and science difference. Otherwise, these I'm not interested in. Uh, just as you know, in a general play build, those are more specialized perks, and you'll get them along the way. You keep playing on the same character long enough, so you know it's it's whatever. So now for agility, I'm gonna put two points in, or technically it'd be three, but. Uh, that way I get Commando, and I get the Sneak. Eventually, I'd like to get to up to Action Boy, though. That'll be nice. That'll probably be what I work towards right away, is getting my agility up to 5, is to get this Action Boy, because that helps a lot in VATS. Um, and yeah, Sneak is nice, so if you find those high-level enemies, you can get around them in Commando. Obviously, if you're using rifle, like automatic rifles, you're going to be doing a lot more damage that way. 
And with luck, I'm gonna go up to Scrounger just to get more ammo. That's that's convenient, and then you already get Fortune Finder, so that's good enough. Bloody mess. You don't need it right away. That's 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 something that's something you can work for eventually. So I didn't consider that as uh, you know absolutely necessary. So that's what you got a general build to be doing. You know your whatevers and uh, whatever you want to do. You get to experience most of the game uh, right off the bat. You get to do all the all the crafting. You get to deal with settlements. You get to you get to do uh, more damage with your main weapons, rifles. For me, I use rifles and stuff all the time. And then, like I said, the, the crafting is really the big thing. Is you can use all the items in the game right off the bat. You can open all the doors. You can go anywhere. That's perfect. So that's why I picked my build to be like this to start off. And of course, like I said, you can always just um, level it up later. There's no level cap. That's it's great. So that's what I got for you guys. 4 Strength, 4 Perception, 3 Endurance, 6 Charisma, 6 Intelligence, 3 Agility, and 2 Luck are going to be exactly what I'm going to recommend to start off with if you're just going for a general build. If you guys like more build, build stuff, I'd be happy to make more videos about it. But for now, I'm just going to stick with this. I will eventually be playing some Fallout 4. Not, not for like the first week though, so nobody's probably going to see it. But anyway, that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a good day. Can't wait to play some Fallout 4, man. I hope you guys are all excited. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Please like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Share the video. Ryan, I expect a dislike from you. I'll put a link to Ryan's channel for being the premier asshole on my channel. One of my my best friends, so he knows I'm just joking, but <laughs> I expect a dislike, Ryan. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.